I am going to present you yet another outstanding project today. With the help of this story diffusion project, you can create a magic visual story. Instead of telling you, let me first show you some of the examples. Look at this video. This video has been generated by Story Diffusion. It is just a frame of the story, but look at the quality and realistic image. Look at the expressions of the people and the way they are moving. It's all AI generated and these are not real people. All of them. Look at this. Especially this left hand side one. This is a typical movie scene and this looks so realistic. This has all been generated from images. Look at the expressions. Look at this one. Amazing, amazing stuff. Look at these scenes. This is the underwater scene, but look at the surroundings. Look so real. You can even generate cartoons with it. And then you can also generate comics in a story format. So if you are into the comics, then you can see how realistic and how good quality this thing looks. Amazing stuff. Now coming back to this project, as I said, Story Diffusion can create a magic story by generating consistent images and videos. There are two parts to it. First is consistent self-attention for character consistent image generation over long range sequences. It is hot pluggable and compatible with all ST1.5 and STXL based images diffusion models. I will also show you how you can get it installed in the Colab. So stay tuned and we will see this consistent self-attention. For the current implementation, the user needs to provide at least three text prompts for the consistent self-attention module. And it seems that recommended is at least five to six text prompts for better layout management. Also, um, motion predictor for long range uh, video generation, which predict which predicts between um, different sort of stuff like motion between condition images in compressed image semantic space, achieving larger motion prediction. How good is that? And then there are a lot of other examples. For example, if you look in this one, this is simply taking different images and then combining them to create a video. Leveraging the images produced through their consistent self-attention mechanism, they can extend the process to create videos by seamlessly transitioning between these images. This can be considered as a two-stage long video generation approach. Also, what you see here in this demo, these are highly compressed results for the speed. And you can visit their project page for detailed videos. And these are not the only examples. I mean, if you go through their website, they have plenty of them. Look at this one. How real this looks. Looks a bit grainy, but this, as I said, this has been compressed for the speed here. Look at these cartoons. And then there are a few others. There you go. How good that looks. The good thing is that they also has a demo. If you don't want to run it by yourself, you can simply go to this demo at Hugging Face Spaces and run it. And here they are just giving some textual description, some Japanese enemy you can select different enemies like cinematic, Disney character, photographic, comic book, whatever. And then they have set some of the random parameters. And then here you can just set them out. All you need to do is simply click on generate and it is going to uh, generate something. Right now it is waiting for GPU to become available because it is running on zero at hugging face. So with some time takes bit of a time to grab the GPU. So let's wait for it to finish to see what it creates. It seems that it was there is a high load at the moment, so it, it won't be able to grab the GPU. That is fine. Let's try to uh, you can keep trying and eventually you'll get the GPU and it will generate it. But let's try to get it installed on Google Colab. So this is my Google Colab. 
run time is change run time to t4 gpu i'll try to see if it gets installed on this but t4 gpu is a bit limited but let's see because it is as you can already tell it is a bit of a heavy sort of stuff okay so let me <clears throat> first import some of the packages let or maybe we'll just install the requirements first after after cloning the repo so i'm cloning the repo here and i will drop the link to this repo in video's description so let's wait for it to get cloned repo is cloned let's cd to that directory which should be simply story diffusion I just need okay, so it is good. It's always a good idea to put this uh, semicolon here. Okay, it doesn't work anyway. So I'm already in that story diffusion, which is good. And you can check it with PWT present working directory. Okay, that is nice. And now let's install all the requirements. Let's run the requirements, and it is going to install a lot of things. So let's wait for it to finish. Meanwhile, it installs the requirements. Let me give you a very quick overview of its pipeline and architecture. So the pipeline of story diffusion to generating subject consistent images is what you can see on the screen. To create subject consistent images to describe a story, they have incorporated their consistent self attention into the pre-trained text to image diffusion model. They have split a story text into several prompts and generate images using these prompts in a batch. Consistent self attention builds connections among multiple images in a batch for subject consistency. And this is how simple that is. And this whole image um, of their method for generating transition videos for obtaining subject consistent images is described here. And to effectively model the character's large motion, they encode the conditional images into the image semantic space for encoding spatial information and predict the transition embeddings. These predicted, uh, predicted embeddings are then decoded using the video generation model with the embedding serving as control signals in cross attention to guide the generation of each frame. And that is what the result with. And by the way, whole, this whole source code, which I just showed you is licensed under MIT. The requirements are still being installed. So let's wait for this one to finish. All the prerequisites are done. Let's now import the libraries. And there are a lot of them, as you can see. I'm not sure even if this T4 GPU would be able to sustain this, but no harm in trying. So let's wait for all of these to get imported. So I have tried it a few times, but it seems that there are a lot of uh, issues with the GPU uh, on the free tier. So I'm not going to fight with this. But if you have access to the a powerful gpu you can definitely run this code and you can access this code from their github repo and i will drop the link in video description but that's it all in all a really good project very impressed by it and the way it is creating these videos simply awesome let me know your thoughts if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching